I'm not sure she did that, my nigga. I think the video evidence. Nigga, you got fucking, uh, uh, it, motherfuckers speaking out from all over the world. Charlemagne them. Up this motherfucker. I want to do a goddamn Stupid Rappers episode on that shit. They speaking on the shit like it's just, so you ain't see all these other videos where bitches putting hands on niggas. This shit just slipped the whole- Are you serious? I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. Get your shit together, big home. Subscribe to the Big Facts Podcast. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is. Are you fucking serious? Um, Javante Davis. Uh, got a charge from a fucking video. I don't know if this shit right here gonna be on the Patreon or not, but uh, just to be safe, you definitely get to the Patreon. Uh, we got the Bad Baby video over there. We got the um, OTF DD video over there. Um, um, what else? We um, the uh, the man being um, the father being barred from his child's funeral uh is also over there um it's just it's just all the heavy shit is over there the reason why this might not be over there is because this shit just happened and i really need to talk to um the whole money team and and niggas all around this is a public service and i mean this this as when i got this shirt on that mean we talk with this men to movement uh certified before we get started Shout out to Ramville King. Ramville King um, definitely showed love. I want to give him a round of applause. Round of applause to Ramville King. And whenever you, you know, show love like that, you know, uh, fucking with the uh, nation in that way, um, making sure that um, no matter what the corporation tries to do, we continue moving forward with AO Nation with what we got to do. Um, I have to salute you in a real way. So shout out to Ramville King. I appreciate that love, my nigga. Um, but today I want to just talk about, um, I want to, obviously I want to talk about hypocrisy, but, but before I, you know, before we talk about what other people did wrong in my household, what I, what I like to do is talk about what we did wrong. I like to talk about what we did wrong. First off, Javante. This bitch that you scaffolding up with all, with, with all this right here, the move you pulled is a move a nigga pull um, when his bitch is with another nigga. Like, bitch, didn't I tell you? But really, you know what it is? It's that you don't really see it like that when a nigga is telling only a lame nigga do his bitch like that. Like when they actually together, he do his hoe like that. Like, get away from this nigga. You fuck with this nigga? But the way a street nigga do it is he'll do his baby mama or his ex like that. When he still got, he with another hoe. He with another bitch. I got a whole nother bitch, but bitch, I better not see you out with nobody else. And that's, and when and listen to me now, when you play that game, that's why a bitch will still feel like we still together, even though he got a bitch. That that'll make your ex be messy with your new hoe. You can't, nigga, you can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like my nigga, what the fuck? Like you straddling the fence. You showing her you still love her. And this is where a hoe in her mind. He, uh, this is where physicality means love. You see how this nigga coming in, bitch? If I'm with any nigga, this nigga gonna come and snatch me up, bitch. He love me that much. And that's what you are. You, any nigga who date Ari Fletcher is a 
sucker for love ass nigga. Period, point blank. It's just like that. Any nigga that will date Ari Fletcher is a sucker for love ass nigga just like that. We just got word that uh, Moneybag Yo just had him a physical altercation with Ari. But I'm pretty sure Ari put hands on him and he was just defending himself trying to show he wasn't no, like, what the fuck you got going on? But at this point, understand when you go out to the club and then you see your baby mama with another nigga, you like, oh, this bitch, okay, this bitch, this hoe playing the game. Because you know she just in that bitch with a nigga that ain't even built like you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, this hoe just trying to, like, she playing. I ain't even going, like, I'm just going to snatch that hoe up and I know that nigga ain't going to do shit. Like, because she know that you from there, your arm is thick there. This nigga don't even know where the fuck he at. This this usually happens in small towns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The, the baby mama trying to show the, the baby daddy, yeah, yeah, I can move on. She she and that bitch were out of town and shit like that. She didn't call the nigga from out of town to come to the club. And that's why you don't go nowhere with the bitch you just met. You trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, this show... This 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 your first date type situation. She tell you to come to a fucking club. We're going to be over here at this club. Like, I'm good on that. She's trying to put you in a cross. She's using you as a piece on her, her chessboard of love. Don't be used as a nothing ass bitch's piece, pawn, on her chessboard of love. She don't give a fuck what happened to that goddamn pawn. She's not even a good goddamn chess player. She just want love. That and on, on the chessboard of love, nigga, rules don't even matter, nigga. The goddamn horse do anything to fuck. He, he make a whole circle and shit like that. Fuck that, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yep, no, I got you. That, that piece don't even move like that. You're supposed to go on that. Ew. No. So that that's the first thing. So that that's what I saw with that. Um obviously. Um, that flexing ass shit you just did like it was like nigga she with another nigga the bitch got you on child support but you know you you have that type of swag when you really run your city and shit like that when you the you know what I'm saying you the most flexed up nigga in the city you the most popular the most recognizable when you really that nigga that's the moves you pull because it's like, I know you playing with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know you. And that, like, this nigga don't even stack up to me type shit. And it's like, I can understand that because, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga's been flexed up, you know what I'm saying? And, and just, you know, nigga, I run this shit and just, you know, be in the club, be throwed and shit like that. And you will rock out like that just to flex, whatever like that. And then go home and, and fuck that whole drunk Whatever like that, and then next day you get back, and then now she thinks that y'all back in a relationship. And that's what we do as young street niggas fucking with nothing ass bitches. That's the way that we contribute to the uh, calamity, to the uh, confusion, and to the chaos. You're going to have to move different once you have this type of stardom, this type of fame. When you just a city legend and shit like that, then you can pull those type of moves and shit like that in the dark. You can play those type of love games. But when you on this type of platform, you actually do have to move on. Um, especially, especially when you're making all your relationships um, public in that manner. Um, on a on a with a platform you know wherever the fuck they was at Miami platform and she was there on his fucking dime and that's probably what the fuck he was mad about bitch you over this bitch begging me for money you begging me for money for daycare and all this other shit and now I give you something and this is where the fuck you at bitch we from New York we from New York how in the fuck is you down this bitch? We from New Jersey. We from up north somewhere. How the fuck is you down here on Miami weekend? And the bitch did that purposely to bump into him. She got close enough to the ring. And now the nigga, nigga, you know that that's Javante Davis fucking old lady. 
So you know, nigga, you in violation. But if you watch the video, you look how he rolled off. Did you know that nigga hoop? Cause that nigga rolled off like a, like he up in the ass for the goddamn. Oh, throw here, I'm on, come on. I got the lane. That nigga rolled so smooth, like nigga, I'm out there. But then Javante pushed the nigga. But you know, like nigga, you're not finna fight Javante Davis, and any nigga had security. So that was that. You know what I'm saying? Like on, on your end, like the niggas involved. See, niggas, niggas allow themselves to be used on these nothing ass bitches chessboard of love. You allowed yourself to be a pawn on her chessboard of love. She could have went out there with her homegirls. He wouldn't have had. And see that 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 would show you, nigga. It was some embarrassment in there. Because she probably used his money to buy that nigga a seat and a ticket. Like this nigga right here ain't buy. I can tell this nigga ain't buy these fucking seats and the plane tickets, nigga. You down this bitch with a bomb and you use my money to do it? Bitch, you don't have no fucking money, bitch. This the whole thing, dog. Nigga, through our hard work and dedication, we make a bitch rich. And not just a bitch, a bitch that hate us. The bitch that hates us, we make that whole rich. From us succeeding because we didn't see ourselves as valuable. If Javante Davis protects his, which I hope he is, protects his seed then the way he does now, hopefully, then you're not in this situation with a bitch that, you know, you can tell, you can always tell a nigga before fame bitch and after fame bitch. You know what I'm saying? And it's a whole lot of shit that goes into that. Y'all got to remind me to do a video on that, how that transformation takes place um, and how the before fame bitch kind of eases herself out of the picture and it's not easing herself she kind of forces herself out of the picture uh from her low self-esteem jealousy and, and all those things um and then they have desperation babies when they see that the fame is about to take this nigga away from her she'll go ahead get all off her fucking uh birth control medication like i have to be tied to this i'm not gonna let this money go i'm not gonna have this hurt alone i'm gonna have some money to, to, to uh, soften my fall. Um, and that's a whole nother video. But now let's get down to the to the real part of this video. <clears throat> this is what I want to know. Obviously, Javante Davis, sucker for love, we tend to dig all, all this other shit, whatever like that. Lame. Nigga, if the bitch want to do it, let the bitch do it, nigga. Period, point blank. That's the mindset we have now. We have to have this mindset as niggas who have something. I'm not going to allow you to be the reason why I got to turn myself in on Tuesday fucking morning for simple battery, domestic violence, because the world don't understand how to fuck. Out of love, one party can put hands on another party. That's the issue here, right? The issue isn't that it was a man responding physically to hurt feelings. No, it's the fact that one party responded physically to their emotions to another party, correct? Of course not. That would be too much like right. And this is why the Men Too movement still has to push forward. Now, as I've told y'all, I really don't like covering cases where the nigga has had opportunities to invoke his rights. Dog, I'm telling you, any nigga who coming, oh uh, man, I had somebody tell me something about, I think I got sexually assaulted last night. My first uh, response is, you didn't call the police? Don't tag me in two, don't tag me. If you did not call the police, call me with a fucking police report. So we have something to go on. If you too scared and too embarrassed to, to call the police when you've been sexually assaulted, assaulted, or whatever the fuck, don't nigga go play somewhere. This is why the fuck a nigga couldn't really do the men to move it like nigga wanted to because niggas didn't take it serious enough. It wasn't serious to niggas. 
But as you continue to see, niggas still getting taken down for the same crime that a bitch can do outwardly. On live TV, it don't matter. Nothing will happen to her. Go look at Javante Davis being assaulted by Ari Fletcher on multiple fucking uh, occasions. This happened. Ari Fletcher uh, uh, assaulting uh, G Herbo. Um, what what the fuck the little nigga name is? Uh, no Ray Shrimmer or uh, not Ray Shrimmer? What the fuck the little dude name? The little dude from Ray Shrimmer. His baby mama outside putting a hit on his fucking head. That wasn't picked up. We got video evidence of all these cases where women, where women, nigga, the, the, the Dominique Williams fucking situation. Dominique Williams was assaulted on his job. Go to the Patreon and look at that fucking video where he explains it. Type in Dominique Williams uh, on, on YouTube and you'll find the story that I put up. Then go look at the um the explanation he gives on the Patreon. So and actually it might be on my um might be on my Instagram. This is why you have to follow me on all plat Facebook, Instagram. Get there. This shit is always on the bottom of the screen. When I first come on, it's in the top left to the top right of the screen. Get to that social media so you can see everything. I can't put everything on YouTube, man. I got five fucking channels. Got a rap trap documentary, which we are. Um, I am looking for three executive producers on that project. I don't want to put a GoFundMe up for that project. Um, but we'll talk about that later. Get in the Patreon inbox and talk to me about that. Um, but if we have to do the GoFundMe, we'll do it. Um, and the executive producers will be AO Nation. Um... This is why you need to be everywhere I'm at because it's too much shit going on. It's too much. And the shit comes too fast. If you're not on the Patreon, you just, nigga, and understand, if you're not on the Patreon, I'm not really taking what the fuck you say serious. If you just hit me up on social media, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you need to talk to me, you got to talk to me on the Patreon inbox. That's who I take serious. That's, the, that's my people. But... When a woman puts hands on a man and it's recorded, nothing happens. Dog, are you telling me? Oh, well, she went down there and signed the warrant. I'm not sure she did that, my nigga. I think the video evidence. Nigga, you got fucking uh, uh, motherfuckers speaking out from all over the world. Charlemagne them. Up this motherfucker, I want to do a goddamn Stupid Rappers episode on that shit. They speaking on the shit like it's just... So you ain't see all these other videos where bitches putting hands on niggas. This shit just slipped the whole everybody. It just it, it fucking uh, eluded everyone. No one saw that. Celebrity motherfuckers putting hands... Celebrity women putting hands on men. Regular women putting hands on men. But that's not a crime. But when a man, I'm not talking about a, 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 a woman telling a, a, a man, hey, let's go, like Javante David did. Man, let's go. And she was walking with him. That was, nigga, and look, look what I'm telling you. They might call this shit kidnapping because if you take a person, what is it, like five feet? So if you take a person five feet against their will, it's a kidnapping charge. The system will do everything in their power. To take the power away from a fucking man, especially a black man with money. It wasn't a nigga, it wasn't out one 24 hours before the motherfuckers picked up this case. What did I just tell y'all? When it's a woman, when it's a woman doing something to a man, the man gotta go through all this fucking legal procedure. Hey, we don't know where she is, so we can't uh hey, you got an address on her? I don't my nigga, this uh, uh some bitch just put her fucking hands on me. I want to fucking, I know, I know her fucking name. I know what's going on, nigga. You supposed to fucking find out. Nigga, a man going to fucking, a, a woman going to police department is, uh, they just leave and we know what the fuck happened. They speak telekinetically. 
But a man gotta fill out all his paperwork. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really know. If you don't got her address, you can't put out a fucking warrant on a bitch. But a woman don't gotta do shit but come in that bitch and they just, oh yeah, we know what happened. She probably, they probably went to her. Do you wanna sign this? She mad because he left after he fucked her. She mad anyway, so. I'm telling y'all, and that's why I spoke to my black women on the live before this last one. I said, please, please stop being that right hand of white supremacy. Please stand with us. We're your sons. We're your fathers. We're your uncles. We're your nephews. This white man cannot touch us without you helping him. Please stop helping him. Take her out of the equation. Is there any way that the government or, or the authorities can take down Javante Davis? He's a champion. They wanted to do the same thing with for every black man who has anything going for himself. Believe they're trying to find a way to put him back down. This system's whole job is to emasculate the black man. The black man is not the symbol of power. It's not the symbol, should not be the symbol of masculinity. It's always been a white man. Even when the, even when the writing describes a black man, they'll give you a picture of a white man. It's not about race. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't talk to me about that bullshit, man. Don't tell me it's not about race. Stop playing with me, man. For every motherfucker that's talking about, it's not about race. I need a fucking documentary about Harvey Weinstein. The biggest thing in fucking movies that there is. This whole Me Too shit started with Harvey Weinstein. But some kind of way, every fucking white man on that goddamn list gets passed over. But every black man, we have to look at it in a legal way. And every black man that was on that list has been in cuffs. Every white man on that list, uh, we're, he's, we're done with him. Don't talk to me about race. Don't fucking talk to me about no goddamn race. It's obviously a fucking plan in place to destroy the black man, not the white. So excuse me when I talk to my black women because the only fucking and, and you know, given in the Bill Cosby R. Kelly conversation now, I'm talking about us regular niggas. The only you, I'm talking to you, black man. The only tie that they have, the only way that they can take away your power is through your woman. This is why I tell you, you have to know how to identify a nothing ass bitch. She is the police. She is the informant. She is the only way that they can destroy you. Unless she shows herself not to be so. This is how we have to walk in this day and age. Until she proves herself to be otherwise, we have to believe that she's a reptilian. You understand? These nothing ass bitches are not women. They're not black women. They're nothing ass bitches. These nothing ass bitches are not white women. They're not Mexican women. They're not Asian women. They're not Pakistani women, Indian women. They're nothing ass bitches. It's a total difference. Until she proves herself to be otherwise. This is why it's so important to know how to spot them. She's going to, and, and I have a inbox full of men who come and say you was right wish I would have listened 
I thought I had something different. I saw the signs, but I thought it was just small. The good outweighed the bad. But it was that one situation to where she pulled her fucking exterior off and you saw that she was a fucking reptilian. Go watch They Live. Go watch a fucking, um, fucking a preview or uh, 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 what what you call that shit when they, uh, a review. Go watch a review of They Live so you can get the overall premise of They Live. You had to have on the glasses to be able to see them. I'm trying to get to the fucking Patreon so you can put on the glasses. Fuck Javante Davis. Fuck money bag, yo. I'm talking about you. Your shit is not going to be publicized, my nigga. This is why I have to jump on these situations as they happen. Don't send me no stories of no, no. Don't, don't, don't do it. I don't need any help. I don't need any help. If it ain't big, I'm not covering it. Because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to, to contact new people. A story this big, everybody sees it. So this is our middle ground. This is where I can recruit. This is where I can attempt to save. Do you not see the hypocrisy in this system? If it was about getting abusive people off the street, then why in the fuck have all these cases gone Without anyone blinking an eye. That doesn't go fucking viral. It is a woman. Oh, you put a woman, a woman. Hold on. What is this about? Is the law sexist? That I have that. Is the law sexist? How? I mean. Because if. I mean, we should have a, 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 a charge called. Man. Simply, simply battering a woman. It shouldn't be simple battery. Simple battery um, alludes to it being a unisex law, meaning you cannot put your hands on a person. Question. I, I, I really, I, I need to understand what is the crime if the crime is domestic violence. Why is it not being um, upheld when it's a woman doing it to a man? Why is it not upheld when it's a woman, nothing ass bitch, doing it to a man? We got all that other shit out the way. We did that first. Javante Davis, all that good, you know, all that good shit. What I'm asking now is, are you telling me that this is the first video you've seen of one party putting their hands on another party in an aggressive way out of emotion? You know, we would actually call Javante Davis a bitch because this is actually a feminine trait. Out of emotion, you put your hand on the other party for cheating. You're telling me this is the first time we've seen one party put their hand on another party for cheating? Men are the only people who do this. This is the first video that you, you've never seen footage before. We have video of a woman putting a hit on a man on camera. And nothing was done. But Javante Davis telling his baby mother, let's go, and her following, that's just the whole world. And I'm telling you, dog, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are so fucking vile, his lawyer will come back to him and say, the district attorney, mark my words, the district attorney is talking about um, a, um, upgrading the charges to kidnapping if she says so. 
when in the fuck are we going to say no more, no more, until you prove to me that you're not on their side, those people that want me to fail, that want me to lose, that don't want me to have anything, until you prove that you're not on their side, and you can't do this by holding up a sign saying, hands up, don't shoot. Because you motherfuckers, that night you saying, hands up, don't shoot. But that Monday fucking morning, your ass is right in a goddamn courthouse filing child support papers. Filing false rape allegations. Filing uh, false domestic violence uh, uh, allegations simply because a nigga don't want to be with you. I have motherfucking testimonies from here to goddamn Timbuktu confirming a woman went down and filed whatever charge it was, bullshit charges, women cutting themselves just to call the police and say that he did it. And if they wouldn't have watched my videos and pulled out their camera, Pulled out their phone and started recording. They'll be in prison right now. Because for some reason. When a woman says it. When a nothing ass bitch says it. The law does not ask questions. This has to be true. And and you know. I, 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 you, I'm going to have to have an officer. I'm going to have to talk to an officer. I'm going to have to talk to a police. We're going to have an interview with a police officer. And I have to ask. A male officer, I would like. I would like for him to be a, a black male officer. With you being a black male in America, when you hear a woman, what you assume to be a woman, it could be a nothing ass bitch in disguise as a woman. When you hear her saying what happened, and you know that you know the way nothing ass bitches are. What, how do you decide whether or not you're going to follow up on it? Is there protocol or is it on your own discretion? I need to know because we're all watching the same internet. We all see the horrible things that nothing ass bitches are doing. And women, you can see how these nothing ass bitches are just defiling your character. They look just like you. In some ways. In some ways. They can. Dis some nothing ass bitches. Are more, are more crafty than others. They can disguise themselves better. For a longer period of time. They're evolving. You know. A nothing ass bitch. In some cases. She can. She can. Uh, keep her. Her same skin on. For a whole fucking year. It'll be a year before you find out she's a nothing ass bitch. But if you put on the glasses, those small things, you'll be able to see them and say, oh, no. Oh, no. No, sir. That is not what a woman would do. You're showing signs like getting that mad about food. No. No, no, no. Hold on. We need to slow this thing down. Let me get you to watch one of AO videos. Let me see how that, let me see, let me turn on Love and Hip Hop right fast and see how you respond to that. Bitch being that motherfucker. See, I don't, I don't need to watch. No, I gotta watch it. Ah, drama, I love it. Give me the, give me a pickle. Nothing ass bitches always want to eat pickles. I guess because you can eat it and try to seduce a man with it. I I'm not I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to go into that. Um At the end of the day and this is what the movement stands for until we have some type That's what I'm saying it has to fall on the lawmakers part. This is blatant hypocrisy. I'm, I can't blame the fucking snake for being a snake. It's a fucking snake. 
that say nothing ass bitch at this point I have to blame the man for treating a snake like a woman letting that snake get that close to you I have to blame you for giving that snake that opportunity to destroy you and then I have to blame the law and it's getting to a point where I can't even blame the law because it's getting more and more evident that this is what you're there for you send out the nothing ass bitches just like the slave master would send out the slave catcher they send them out to cause all kind of havoc mayhem and chaos and their one job is to destroy as many black men as possible sometimes they go you know um they go awry and they, you know, fuck up some white dudes or, or you know, somebody. But the main objective, look at um, Randy Moss's wife. You know what I'm saying? And, all, and then the niggas who think they smart, niggas think they smart. Like, oh, shit, I know how to, I know how to beat this uh, nothing ass bitch problem. I'm going to go over here with a, uh, I'm going to go with a Mexican. I'm going to go with a white girl. What the fuck was that? Sorry, did you lick me? What the fuck was that? Are you wet? I'm going to go over here. Not understanding they this outer skin means nothing. You don't think they have different models? A red one, a green one, a yellow one? You're not going to beat the nothing ass bitch problem by looking at their outer skin, their skin color. You have to look at the other things. What's what's the same about this? You can look at some of these motherfuckers. They're all they're built the same. They all try to um 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 uh, seduce a man in public. First thing they want you to see is the uh, sex part. Thank sex immediately. Thank sex immediately. They're trying to get blood to leave. That's it. The first thing they try to do is get blood to leave your brain and go to your brain. They're trying to get blood to leave your head and go to your head so that you can't think. They want immediately to give power to the thing that they feel they have the most control over. You did. Any female lookalike that's trying to get you to trying to get blood to leave your head and go to your head that fucking fast is a nothing ass bitch. Pure point blank. I shouldn't be getting hard just by looking at you walk. Why in the fuck are you why are you trying to do that? Like and why and you're you're you didn't you didn't wear that just for me. You wore that for any man in the mall. Why in the fuck what are you trying to get why are you taking why are you trying to close my eyes? Go watch they live. Watch the Terminator. If I can get you to think six, you won't look at these small inconsistencies that shows I'm not a woman. This shows you that I'm a fucking reptilian. This shows you that I'm a fucking robot. This shows you that I'm a nothing ass bitch. I'm here to destroy you. And if you do not take this serious as I'm speaking it to you, you will be the next Javante Davis, but you will not get the 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 um luxury of having um the dream team. All Javante Davis will lose is his career. You're gonna lose everything. You do that to a bitch and she describes it like that, you're going to prison for kidnapping. You can play all the fuck you want, but if you want to achieve your goal, if you want to actually be successful, you're gonna have to take, like you're gonna have to get control of your body. 
you're going to have to take control of your body if you can't help but to it just like you don't care how you're talked to you don't care how you're treated as long as you get to fuck you'll give her and like you know so you know you lame as fuck obviously you know you lame you know that she don't just love you she know you know she don't just want you you're just who's there you know she's dumb as fuck she doesn't have understanding you can't talk to her about anything the only thing that she's good for is to fuck you can't even you have to and some of you are in horrible situations where you can't even go inside your house I was just talking to one of my um, artists the other day and I was speaking about not having peace at home so you have a job you have a house this is why people a lot of people commit suicide in the car this is why a lot of people do all their drugs in a car you that's the only place of freedom that you have leaving work going home because it's, it's gotten old to have to go you know you, you park in front of the house and you just sit there for a whole two hours because you you trying to prepare yourself you trying to you know you drinking smoking trying to get high and drunk as possible before you go in the house so you don't feel the sting of or the tension of this battlefield as soon as you get in the house like you're in the car pretty much putting on your helmet pep helmet putting on your flap jacket getting your fucking you know your gun make sure you got your knife got your your, your, your shotgun shells around you you having to you know get your sandbags making you digging your foxhole because you're getting prepared for war every time you enter the door Every time you walk in the house, it's a fucking battle just to get to sleep so you can go to work the next day so you can come home and not the lights won't be out. You, you're, you're going to work to keep power in a house that is only good for warfare. That's the only thing this house is good for is warfare. But you look crazy when I tell you about the three S's. I don't know, man. I can't live without those sandwich. I gotta get that pussy. But you around, you know, you're around niggas, so you know, I don't know what the fuck that nigga. That nigga G, yeah. But just as soon as you get in that car, fuck. Damn, I gotta go home this motherfucker. God damn, man. And you stuck because you don't want Obviously, you don't want to even picture another nigga fucking this. Like, you don't want to picture her naked and another nigga hitting her from the back and shit like that. You don't want to picture her sucking another nigga dick. That's something that you don't want to see. But you don't want to be with her no more. You see no value in her anymore. So the only thing you can think about losing is her sex. Because she doesn't have anything else. But you don't, and so that then puts you in a category of a nothing ass nigga. Your car is worthless to you, but you just don't want anyone else to drive it. It's of no value to you. It's actually holding you up. But you don't want anyone else to drive it. And to you, you're going to come up with every excuse, everything in the book to deny what it is I'm saying. But at the end of the day, you know, and you're in your, um, the nothing ass bitch you have at home, um, she knows it also. They, they equip them with, you know, um, uh, um, what, what is this shit called when a computer can get smart on his own? Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, Y'all say this in the comment section. She's 
She knows it's a battlefield. She knows she's wearing you down. And that's her whole purpose. Is to destroy the essence of every black man. If you don't believe. That the government. Is trying to keep the black man. Uh, always just fighting, fighting, fighting. Oh, fighting. So that we don't realize our potential. I, I implore you. I urge you, please go research COINTELPRO. Pro. Please go research uh, uh, Operation Mockingbird. Go look at go look at what these motherfuckers did. Like you know about what happened um, to Black Wall Street. You know that they don't want the black man to reach. We've always been the one that they come at. The, the one they come after. They've always been worried about us reaching this potential since the beginning of fucking time. And now you just believe it's just all willy nilly? No. They find found a, mo, a more sub... Um, a more incognito way of doing it. Now, they send out, get the fuck out of that trash can. They can now sit back and say, we don't know what's going on. You don't know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know what's going on. You watch these fucking robots that you sent out. You watch these motherfuckers do exactly what you programmed them to do. Beat us down and destroy us and all that shit like that. You watch them do it on video, footage, all kind of shit. But just as soon as a powerful black man, a successful black man puts hands on them, it's a crime. I'm. I don't give a fuck about it. Let it. Let it be a crime. All good. But if this what we doing, we have to then retroactively go back and find all the women that did this on camera to a man. Put Javante Davis in jail. Let's rock that. But if he goes to jail, every woman that has done anything physical to a man has to be arrested for the same fucking thing. I, I I I can I, I can I can keep talking till I'm out of breath, man. And um, but if 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 you stuck in this mindset where you believe that um, you a different nigga, like, and I, I always bring me into the equation. You feel like you know more than me, even though I'm telling you about your life, and I'm in Daphne, Alabama. I'm thousands of miles away from where you are right now. I'm telling you your whole life. But you feel like I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you got more swag than, you know more than I know. And he, he tell you, oh, yeah. But tonight, at this very moment, your situation is as I said it was. But you won't do anything about it. At this point, the government has shown they're not going to help us. We know that the nothing ass bitches are against us. And we can't go out and recruit any black women because it, we, we don't, nigga, nigga, we don't know who the fuck is who. And this is why I'm saying, women, you're seeing these nothing ass bitches dress up like you, act like you. Camouflage themselves like you. And some of you are. Protecting them. You're defending. Nothing ass bitch behavior. But you're not a nothing ass bitch. Why the fuck. What. That makes no sense. 
You're upholding this behavior? This is what you want. This is what you will want a woman to treat your son, your father, your uncle, your nephew in this way. The way that you're treating a man, you will want. Now you can come. Listen, you can come back and tell me. So you will want a a a a, a man treating your daughter, your mother, your sister the way you treat a woman. Hold, 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 hold. As there are some men who beat women, yes, there are. Other than that, that's the only thing that we have. And you know, them circles they be making where we do the uh, uh, what you got, what I got, and what we got in common. Okay, what we have in common right here in the middle for your for your argument to make sense. What we have in the middle is. That's detrimental to your health. Putting hands. So women put hands on men. Men put hands on women. That's what that's what you wouldn't want done to your child, whether it be a boy or a girl. But on this side, you have fake rape, fake domestic violence, fake um, um, false sexual uh, um, abuse charges, calling the police for no fucking reason and getting a nigga killed. Um, Putting children on a nigga, child support, telling a nigga that, uh, telling uh, a nigga children um, that he raped them, like we saw on Ayana, and have that shit going for 25 years. And the only thing we have over here, and cheating, and what we have over here is cheating. That's not detrimental to a motherfucker's health. That's all that they're talking about. You don't want nobody to treat your daughter the way you treat a woman. The only thing a nigga might do to a motherfucking uh, woman is cheat you have this whole list of shit that is going to destroy a nigga life and you talking about you're comparing cheating to this shit are you serious that's the only shit you got a nigga putting his hand on a woman and a nigga cheating and nigga we have that in common right here we both cheat and, and some niggas put their hand on women that's that's what we have in common but all this Fucking a nigga life up line for line? That's all a nothing ass bitch. So there's no comparison. Stop fucking playing. There is no argument. You're talking about, if we're talking about protecting our children, our nephews, our fathers, our uncles, futures, the woman is far more dangerous. Period. The nothing ass bitch is far more dangerous. Period. So you can play that. Uh, yeah, I do it too. Do what? Do what? What are you talking? Do what? We've already uh, we've already addressed the the putting the hands on each other. That's detrimental to life. Cheating is not detrimental to life. That's it. But you won't understand it until. A woman does to your son what you've done to a man. And you felt you were justified. Did you, y'all go look at that fucking, um, you would have to go look at, go to the Patreon and look at the fucking bad baby episode and look what that fucking evil ass, nothing ass, old nothing ass bitch did. For 25 years she lied. To her daughters and told them that they, when they were young, their father sexually abused them. Do you know when they went on Ayana and they find, and find out that she was lying? Do you know that she responded by saying, "Why didn't you fight for him harder if you knew you Excuse didn't me. do it?" And what is it that he could have said hmm. that would have made you not believe the lie you were telling? Yvonne, that, you told that's that's what came to her head that's what came to her head after telling a vile lie of that magnitude what came to her head was you should have fought harder and had they not been on tv she would have won that argument the only reason why any logic was in, in, in injected into the situation was because they were on tv and she said on TV after being 
proven as a liar. Lying to your children. And and see, I I don't want to go too deep, but I'm, I I you know children, children. Um, if there's some, I don't I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say, my nigga. If you know that your mama is a is a fucking a lying ass nothing ass bitch, and she said anything about your father, you need to probably go back and and and, and check that story out. Your fuck what your your father I don't your fuck. She fucked him. She brought four kids with him. So. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it like that. But um Big Face Podcast. Um like I said, don't hit me up unless you're ready to go to war. If you ain't ready to go to war, then I, I don't give a fuck. I don't I I am not with the nigga, I'm I'm a grown fucking man. I'm not with the talking. Hey man, guess what they just did? My nigga, please. Please. If you ain't caught the police and you got a police report and you ready to go to court, don't hit me up. Nigga. I, I, this is why the fuck a nigga fucked up in the first place trying to bring motherfuckers in that wasn't about this shit. I know I'm about this shit. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you hit the cash out. Think about starting to uh, go fund me for the um, Rap Trap documentary. I'll be putting that poll out on the um, uh, Patreon. We'll see what we're going to do about that. Um, get your shit together, man. I'll see you on a minute. Love, love. Get your shit together, be home.